Just down the road from Woodman's on the banks of the Essex Salt Marsh is another famous place, and this one is completely old school. If you ask the locals around here where they go, they'll tell you JT Farnham's for their famous clams. Now, Farnham's has been around for about 75 years, and for the last 20, it's been run by Joe and Terry Salucci. Joe runs the kitchen, and Terry runs the dining room, which helps keep their business and their marriage running smoothly. He's out back on my front, so we have our boundaries. We don't cross that threshold. <laughs> Here at Farnham's, they like to use clams that are a bit smaller than the ones you'll find everywhere else. And they like to dunk them in a top secret wash before they're tossed in corn flour and fried. We do have a, a four ingredient special wash that we use. Basically, we think it has a better crunch than just straight evaporated milk. Now, if you're a fan of the crispiness of fried clams, Farnham's is a spot you gotta go to because the batter to belly ratio here is a lot greater. So when you take that bite into the fried clam, you get a big time crunch. You hear that? That's the sound of deliciousness. Crispy, sweet, and tender. That's what it's all about. Another thing the locals love is Farnham's chowder. They actually serve four different styles, but the seafood chowder is the one to try, despite its inauspicious origins. We do a seafood chowder, which was invented as a mistake when someone at the end of the shift combined the clam chowder with the haddock chowder, and then the next day, I was told about it, and I said, well, you know what? We have shrimp, we have scallops, and we have lobster. And so we sauteed some of that up and added it to a pot, and thus seafood chowder was invented. Look at that. Just a whole huge shrimp. Big old jumbo sea scallop. Nice hunks of fresh lobster. That's a real chow.